Steve Embers is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, Eight on Your Side investigates. He is a Green Beret, one of America's best, but he's also a victim of military malpractice and justice denied. America's military is capable of unleashing shock and awe. But when it comes to holding military doctors accountable for malpractice, Eight on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews tells us our active duty service members are quite simply handcuffed. Every member of the military needs to be aware of this. All 1.3 million of you, illegal immigrants in this country, have a better shot at holding doctors accountable for malpractice than our active duty service members. Just ask Green Beret Sergeant Rich Stasekel. Army doctors did not inform Green Beret Rich Stasekel that he had a spot on his lung. Not once, twice. Now, Rich and his family are dealing with stage four terminal cancer. Wife Megan. It's not something I want to think about. Not for myself, not for him, but especially for our girls. A federal law called the Ferris Doctrine bars active duty service members from suing the government for injuries that arise from military service. Well, you know, there's a lot of bad law out there, and a lot of bad law gets fixed. Attorney Natalie Guam. But as it stands right now, our active military members do not have a right to legal recourse due to the Ferris Doctrine. Rich testified before Congress earlier this year to change that law. The House agreed and voted to allow military malpractice victims like Rich their day in court. Cully Stimson, a former military prosecutor now at the Heritage Foundation in Washington, claims changing the law is not necessary. We already have a system in place, a fair system in place, uh, that compensates people for uh, negligent acts by service members. Either this comment was made with an agenda, or he just does not know the law. Stimson is talking about the Federal Torts Claims Act. It allows private citizens to sue the government for negligence. But when Rich Stasekel and then Megan filed a claim to sue under the Federal Torts Claims Act, the Army informed them, since Rich was active military, the Ferris Doctrine barred them from suing. Our active duty are completely barred from being able to pursue malpractice claims, negligence claims, even sexual assault claims. Natalie Quam claims the Department of Defense abuses the Ferris Doctrine, allowing bad doctors to go unpunished. It's just not fair. It's not fair that it was missed and he wasn't told and that there's a possibility my, our kids will grow up without a father. I love you. I love you. No, it's not fair. The Ferris Doctrine was a law drawn up to protect from litigation medics and doctors who on the battlefield may have made a mistake. I get that. But Rich Stasekel was in North Carolina when he became a victim of military malpractice. Mm -hmm. It's such a staggering story. This sailed through the House. Do you expect some problems in the Senate? Yeah, I think you're going to hear uh, what, you co what came out of the mouth of Mr. Stimson coming out of uh, the, the, the Senate. It's got bipartisan support, though, but Senate leadership hasn't quite warmed up to it yet. Yet illegal immigrants can sue doctors for malpractice in this country, and even prisoners can sue corrections facilities physicians. But the military can't hold its own doctors accountable. So, so many similarities between this story and others you've done where the, where the military veterans are the ones who somehow are penalized yeah. under a system that should protect, protect and, them. And, you know, they, and help they're everybody. heroes. They're out there protecting yeah. us. No doubt. We should return the favor. Thank you, Steve. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, give him a call. The 8 on your side helpline number is 1-800-338-0808.